hello wonderful people you are welcome back to adorable kitchen if this is your first time of coming here please you are welcome subscribe okay so today i'm going to show you guys how i process my fresh tomatoes into tomato paste i have two methods but in this video i'm going to show the first method and be sure to check out the next video to see the second method okay so to do this we only need a muslin bag this is the type of bag we use in nigeria for making pap akam or ogi so that's the only equipment we need for this processing of fresh tomatoes into tomato paste the first step is to wash the tomatoes which i've done already next i just used my knife to slice them into smaller pieces this is just to help the blades of my blender since i'm using a household blender but if you have access to the commercial types or the heavy duty grinders you don't even need to go through this process again if you've not watched my other videos where i explained um, how we got all this from the farm and the other video that I showed how I also process my bell peppers please be sure to check them out click the link you see in the screen and you can watch that video after this apart from helping the blades of my blender to um, grind the tomatoes very well I think it's also a nice idea to cut into the tomatoes just to have a look inside them you know sometimes you can find things like maggots inside fresh tomatoes so I think it's a good idea to just cut through the tomatoes after slicing the tomatoes the next thing I did was to grind them I used my two big grinders to grind everything just to make it easier and very fast Now after grinding the tomatoes I transferred them into the muslin bag. So this is the method that I used for this um, part one of this video. I didn't cook the tomatoes at all. This method is very very good. It saves time, it saves power, it saves you your gas and everything and it is very very easy okay. Just transfer the whole um, blended tomatoes inside the muslin bag and just um, leave it overnight the water will drain out and that is it don't even be scared that you are going to waste your tomatoes okay i'm just going to show you the water coming out from it it is just clear water clean water okay it is not your tomato that is going out it is just water so this is the first method
So I went ahead to grind all the tomatoes and I transferred them into the muslin bag. Then I tied the opening of the bag and I placed a heavy object on top of the bag just to um, exert some weight and drain out the excess water and I left it overnight. I did this about 8 p.m. in the night then by the next um, day, the next morning, it was completely drained and I had my fresh tomato paste. This wasn't easy at all but it was completely worth it okay because as mean I had to because assuming I had to store all those fresh tomatoes there wouldn't be space for it in my freezer there are too much for me to store in my freezer but after making it and processing it this way it just takes up little space in the freezer another thing is it saves me time each time I want to prepare stew I just collect the tomato and just go through the process of just um, frying you don't have to go through this process all over again so it saves time and it saves you um, space in your freezer as well so this was the next morning as you can see it has drained out completely and this is some of the water that came out as you can see this is just clear water okay <laughs> in case you are thinking that's the flavor going out no that is not the flavor that is just clean clear water that came out from the tomato it is not the taste that is going out and in case you are also wondering how it tastes when you use it in making your stew or your jollof rice it tastes just like your normal fresh tomatoes okay the taste is not affected So the final thing I do is just to package them in Ziploc bags and keep them in my freezer. So whenever I want to use it, I just bring it out from the freezer in time for it to defrost. Then after defrosting, I just go straight and fry the tomatoes or just use it anyhow I want in making my food. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.